Arcadian Vanguard presents the Wrestling News and your daily wrestling newscast for Saturday, January 27th, 2024. Good morning, I'm Mike Sempervivi. We begin today with news on the resignation of Vince McMahon. The former TKO executive chairman officially resigned from the company yesterday as first reported by The Hollywood Reporter and later confirmed by Fightful. WWE CEO Nick Khan sent out an internal memo to employees yesterday stating as follows, quote, I wanted to inform you that Vince McMahon tendered his resignation from his positions as TKO executive chairman and on the TKO board of directors. He will no longer have a role with TKO Group Holdings or WWE, end quote. McMahon's resignation comes in the wake of a new lawsuit by former WWE employee Janelle Grant alleging in detail acts of sexual abuse, assault, and sex trafficking. In a statement released last night, McMahon commented, quote, I stand by my prior statement that Miss Grant's lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene made-up instances that never occurred, and is a vindictive distortion of the truth. I intend to vigorously defend myself against these baseless accusations and look forward to clearing my name. However, out of respect for the WWE Universe, the extraordinary TKO business, and its board members and shareholders, partners and constituents, and all of the employees and superstars who help make WWE into the global leader it is today, I have decided to resign my executive chairmanship and the TKO board of directors effective immediately." End quote. In another significant development related to the McMahon scandal, longtime WWE sponsor Slim Jim, which has a relationship with the company going back 35 years, announced yesterday that it would be pulling its sponsorship of tonight's Royal Rumble premium live event. Slim Jim issued the following statement with regards to the decision, quote, Slim Jim values integrity and respect in all of our partnerships. Given the recent disturbing allegations against Vince McMahon, at this time, we've decided to pause our promotional activities with WWE. This decision reflects our commitment to our brand values and responsibility to our community. We will continue to monitor the situation and base our future engagements on our values and what's best for our brand, end quote. WWE SmackDown aired its Royal Rumble Go Home episode live last night on Fox from the Casilla Center in Miami. The closing moments of the show saw an all-out brawl involving all three Royal Rumble opponents for WWE Universal Champion Roman Reigns, including LA Knight, AJ Styles, and Randy Orton, who fought with each other as well as Solo Sokoa and Jimmy Uso of the Bloodline. The brawl followed a match between Knight and Sokoa, which ended when Knight was attacked at ringside by Styles, drawing a disqualification for Sokoa. The Kabuki Warriors duo of Asuka and Kyrie Sane regained the WWE Women's Tag Team title last night, defeating Katana Chance and Caden Carter in 9 minutes and 2 seconds. Kyrie Sane from the top! Don't you know? She's loco! Insane elbow! And new champions! The loss ends Chance and Carter's reign at 39 days. Asuka and Sane last held the title from October of 2019 to March of 2020. Also on the show, Austin Theory pinned Carmelo Hayes with a handful of tights. Theory and Grayson Waller attacked Hayes after the match until the save was made by Trick Williams. In other results, Santos Escobar pinned Carlito, and in an in-ring promo segment, The Last Testament attacked Bobby Lashley in the Street Profits. All Elite Wrestling presented Rampage last night on TNT, featuring matches taped last Wednesday at the End Market Arena in Savannah, Georgia. In the main event, Kip Sabian defeated The Butcher, Commander, and Elio Del Vikingo in a four-way match to set up a match between Sabian and international champion Orange Cassidy for tonight's episode of Collision. 
In other results, John Moxley beat Lee Moriarty in the opener, Konosuke Takeshita defeated Christopher Daniels, and Anna Jay went over Ruby Soho. Also announced during the show was a partnership between AEW and CMLL that includes the imminent arrival of luchadors Volador Jr., Hechicero, Mascara Dorada, and Mystico. More information was advertised for tonight's collision. In more WWE news, TKO Group has announced what they are calling a UFC and WWE takeover of Anaheim, California, coming up on President's Day weekend. According to the announcement made via the official UFC Twitter account, UFC 298 is scheduled to take place on Saturday, February 17th at the Honda Center in Anaheim, with WWE Monday Night Raw coming to the same building two days later on Monday, February 19th. This is the first such combined UFC-WWE weekend to be announced, but is in line with the brand synergy that Endeavor had promised as part of the TKO partnership going forward. And before we leave you today, we'd like to remind you that however you consume your content, you can find the wrestling news 24 hours a day and seven days a week across social media. On Twitter, follow us at Wrestling News AV. Our Facebook page is also Wrestling News AV. The wrestling news can also be found on the Arcadian Vanguard YouTube page. And for those who utilize Amazon Echo devices, just tell Alexa to play the Wrestling News podcast. And remember to make sure you add podcast at the end. Once again, for daily updates, breaking news, and more, follow the wrestling news across social media. And that's the news for today. If anything happens, we will be here to tell you about it. No clickbait, no paywall, just the wrestling news. The wrestling news is a division of Arcadian Vanguard, and the wrestling newscast is a production of the Arcadian Vanguard Podcast Network.